Sunday morning, May 2022. I'm in Ashted, a small village in Surrey, just a few miles down the road from Guildford where I live. I've come to check out a record fair. One of the first stalls I came across had loads of punk. This rudimentary peony single caught my eye. Back in the day, I bought it. As a teenager, I wrote to the band. I read somewhere that if you write to the band for information, the letter will go straight in the bin. So I got no reply. On the walls, you'll see the rare risk of discs. Johnny Cash, Metallica, rare Jimi Hendrix, even a signed copy of Carly Simon's 1972 album. As well as vinyl, you'll find collector's box sets for both records and CDs. All items are on display for you to browse at your leisure. What's your rarest record? And where did you get it? Put some comments in the description below. One of the beautiful things about collecting vinyl is the fantastic artwork. Just look at this classic by 10cc. You'll always find the Beatles. and even Yoko Ono. Punk items are always interesting to find. This Dolly Mixtures Captain Sense Ball is a new one on me. Looking after your collection is so important. So at a record fair, you can get boxes, bubble sleeves, mailers, and PVC covers. As well as protecting your investment, they make them look really cool too. I'm always drawn to the soundtrack section. Tron was a bit of a dire film, but what a great sleeve. Superman, Dark Crystal, James Bond, Psycho, there's even Christopher Lee's Dracula. There's low tier and any one of these records would look great framed on your wall. Of course, CDs are everywhere. I'm still a fan of CDs and at a record fair, they're really affordable. Records can be investments, particularly good condition, limited edition ones, but let's remember, it's not buying records as a nest egg. Buy them because you like them. You don't have to just buy records at a fair. If you've got stock to sell, you can go along and speak to dealers, particularly if you have a really good collection. Gary Newman's early beggars banquet days are shown here, represented by a special two single pack. Looking through his box, I find loads of rare punk. Loads I remember, and quite a few I don't.
The Vapors, Turning Japanese, a band from Guildford, my hometown. It was a top 10 hit back in the 80s. It even got to number 36 in the US Billboard Hot 100. There's even more Tubeway Army. Newman's credited on the back as vocals, keyboard and guitar. Moving on, more punk albums. There's The Damned, Cramps and assorted Japanese versions of the Pistols catalogue. There's a bunch of different sleeves to them mined by the Pistols. This is one of the unusual ones. It has a submission sticker on the back. And if you remember one of my previous episodes, we had David Bowie's Earthling vinyl album that's worth a fortune. You can pick up the CD here, and it's only five quid. Here's a rare Joy Division vinyl from 2007. It's great to see the subhumans the day the country died on vinyl. Check my channel, you'll see an interview I did with Dick Lucas. And we finish with Rudimentary Peony, another unusual cover from their Cacophony album. It's been an interesting time. If you're local, you should definitely check it out. Do check out my other videos on the channel. There's loads of great interviews. Please like, comment, and consider subscribing. And it goes without saying, thanks very much for watching. <laughs>